Welcome again. This is a short clip that would show you how to animate any chart in Excel using the conventional Excel features. Here is an example of a simple donut chart and what I did here I hid the right side of the chart and I will change the values in cell E2 to show you how this chart can change. The only thing is I'm not going to use any changes using my manual manually but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a scroll bar. I can find the scroll bar under the developer or any other Excel version would have it under the forms controls toolbar. So I'm going to click on the scroll bar draw the scroll bar that is going to control the cell E2 that is going to control all the other values on the sheet and consequently chart. So if you right click and say format control you are going to control or link cell E5. The current value of cell E5 is 50 and I would let it vary from the lowest value of 0 to the highest value of 100%. The incremental change is going to be 1. Anytime you're going to click on the scroll bar, it's going to change by 1. The page change is, if you want it to move a little bit faster, is going to be 10. And when you say OK, you are ready to change the chart. You click out of the scroll bar. And when you click, note what happens to cell E2 and how this chart is animated. If you remember, this is the incremental change which changes by 1 and the page change was 10 if you click here it's going to change by 10 going much faster so the idea is very simple you just link the cell that you want to change to a scroll bar and everything is changing I have three more examples in the pie chart that I have here note that both values are always going to be 100 because I'm deleting the 3 from 100% and this is what I did right click on the scroll bar the current value is 33 I'm going to animate it from 0 to 100 again incremental change is 1 page change is 10 and I'm linking it to the cell that I want to change or vary E2 if you say OK click out and the same effect as you notice the values change. If you remember the incremental change is 1 every time I click here it's 1 and the page change is 10 it will go much faster. Same thing happens with the column chart. I created a column chart from the values you see in column E. Column E is a multiplication of the values in column F times the value you see in H1. So when you change H1 the entire column is changing and so is the chart, all the columns on the chart. So I'm controlling all the columns together. I can of course control one at a time. One thing I did here is I made sure that these values don't change as the magnitude of the columns change. The way I did it is right click here, format the axis and I made sure that the x axis is fixed from minus 600 to plus 600 otherwise the chart is going to keep changing. So if you right click here, format control, the current value is 100, I'm going to change it to 100 and change the values from 50 to 150 with an incremental change of 1 and the same thing and I'm controlling H1. So when you click here and get out of the chart and click on, out on the incremental change you see how the values are decreasing and so is the chart and if you click here it's going to go with increments of 10. So that's pretty simple. The next sheet has a more realistic example. Here I have a break-even point analysis and you can see the entire model where we sell 10,000 units. The selling price is $12 the cost per unit is 8 
and you can see that right now the profit is uh, fifteen thousand dollars and what I did is I created a data table where all these values are changing the revenue the expense and the profit and this is the chart that you see here so if I change any of these values the chart is going to be animated what I did here is I control the cell C24 right click format control currently the value is 8 the lowest value is going to be 5, the highest I chose to be 12 and again the incremental change is 1. And of course I control the cell link which is the cell H C24 that contains the 8. If you say OK, click out of the scroll bar and as you see you can animate the chart also you can see the profits changing. So this is one more example and I can show you a few more. If you want to read more about it, you can go to my book Next Generation Excel. If you want to get uh, this specific file, the Excel file, send me an email to isaacg at temple.edu. If you want to be my, on my Excel tip of the month, you can also send me an email to isaacg at temple.edu.